Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and this week Imp's Adventure returns, and it seems GH Games are definitely continuing on with the theme of giving us treasure train items in the campaign loot drop event, which comes alongside Imp's Adventure. So this is great news for free-to-play players. A few small things have happened in the shop, so we'll talk about those, but overall, this looks like a really good event. Before we check it out, though, let's check out today's sponsor, Angel Legion. Angel Legion is a sci-fi idol RPG similar to Idol Heroes, but set in space. You put together a team of angels, combining their abilities into epic combos to explore the galaxy, defeat powerful foes, and when all that fighting is over, you can hang out with your heroes in the cabin to relax and unwind. The heroes in this game are fully customizable and you can dress and change the way they look to your heart's content. And there's lots of different heroes in the game for you to experiment with to find which team you like the most for making progress. Exclusive for this week, Google Play users looking to get themselves some rewards on their Angel Legion account can get 10 free summons and a unique fashion item. All you need to do is head to your account menu and select the gift exchange button. From there, enter the code BCXI4877. Hit confirm, and then you'll get yourself 10 free summons and a unique fashion item. Then all you need to do is head over to your heroes, unlock that fashion item, and equip it to whichever hero you like. So folks, if you want to help out this channel and try out a free-to-play gacha game, check out Angel Legion, and you never know, it might be your new favorite game to play alongside Idle Heroes. Anyway folks, let's go check out this week's event. So, every day for logging in, you're going to get yourself four ordinary dice, and these are needed to make progress in Imps Adventure, so make sure you log in every day. On top of that, you're going to get 100 cuddly pandas, and that's pretty much what this event is all about. We want to get as many pandas as possible. Now, they're pretty easy to obtain if you just claim them from campaign, so make sure you log in frequently and pick these up. But the most important thing you need to do is make sure you're engaging with the imp's adventure. So what you need to do is you need to roll your dice. It will move the imp around. He will level up these squares. And the higher the levels of the squares are, the more rewards you'll get. Ultimately, you, you want to land on these starry mushrooms to level them up so that every time you pass them, they give you more stars. At level one, they'll give us three stars. But once they're level three, which is the highest level they can get to, we get five stars. And you want to accumulate these stars to get rewards. And you can see we get more and more pandas the further we progress alongside some other cool rewards like heroic summon scrolls and six star puppets and free to play players if they're lucky might even push to a material selection chest too which does contain some really nice resources to help your celestial island now overall for this week we have our value packages these are giving us gems and dice no train tickets are available in this and there's no reason to spend your contract starry gems on these either so in my personal opinion do not pick up these value packs they're not worth it the adventure package here is interesting it does give 35 dice it gives a thousand gems you get some universal crystals and this does give treasure coupons which is nice and it gets you double rewards in imps adventure so remember these rewards we were looking at all of these are doubled even the cuddly pandas so that's pretty cool however this imps adventure package is going to cost you 50 bucks and if you take a look at the moonlight gift well this is rewarding us for spending it gets us rewards for up to 2000 vip xp points and that's around 40 dollars now you do get a small number of prism starry gems here thrown in alongside a pretty decent number of dice and you get 1,500 pandas. On top of that, some universal crystals too, which you can convert to pandas in the Animal Kingdom store. So I think the best approach for people here, if you do want to engage with this Moonlight Gift, is to use it as a way to get yourself enough to pick up an origin artifact selection chest. Those of you wanting to get your hands on some of the stronger artifacts in the game may be interested in this, as of course we were given these new deific artifacts and Dragon Receptor has proven to be extremely powerful, and for people using burst heroes like Mockman, you might want to consider the Lingering Melody of Universe, or perhaps you're a Star Expedition or PvE boss fight connoisseur and you want to get yourself the Breath of Fire forest spirit as this is the best artifact for fights that go beyond six rounds so between those three i think they're the best ones you could grab but in my opinion if you have a therapist of blood betty and you want to get the most mileage out of her a dragon ruyi at splendid is the artifact for you however to get it to splendid you don't need one of these chests you need four so you'll probably have to engage with quite a few of these events that do give origin artifact selection chests so if that's a long-term goal for people then i suppose you could spend 40 dollars this week get your moonlight 
rewards in, grab your cuddly pandas, make sure you log in, do your imps adventure, and then at the end of the event, you can grab the origin artifact selection chest. Other players may just want to go for 3400 and just get the treasure selection chest here, which gives you a pink treasure. A lot of people will be leaning towards some of the stronger ones here, so Queen's Cup is definitely a consideration. And then you do have your retro gaming items as well, which can be quite useful in Void Campaign. And the same goes for the Alien Dessert. These also give us bonuses for Void Campaign. So those are worth considering. And if you're a free-to-play player, uh, you'll probably typically get around 2500 pandas this week just for logging in and doing a little bit of imps adventure for the most case that will mean that you're going to be picking up an orange treasure chest here and using this to get some of the stronger items for you i would recommend the lady sunshine hat to anyone that uses a betty as this will improve the control immunity offset of mages or if you're just looking for maximum attack you could go with the soul conjuring flute as this has the best attack scaling of any item available in the hero token and hero token as an area does give you more attack than anywhere else if you invest in it one thing you'll notice is the star spawn cores have changed in price they were 1500 last time now it's 2200 you shouldn't really be going for these anyway i think overall the bonuses given by star spawns are eclipsed hugely by the treasure train buffs so just invest in the treasure train items and ignore the star spawn stuff star spawn rewards do come actually in other ways you don't need to worry about these get the treasure items especially if you're free to play you can ignore things like flags and artifacts i wouldn't really use this event to pick them up i would just use this for treasure bonuses if you have anything left over, probably want to go for Heroic Summon Scrolls, as we do have some big Heroic Summon Scroll events coming along, or maybe you just want to pick up Spirit and Gold with whatever is left. Finally, we have the Shelter Mission. This has a Nosuke, who weirdly enough needs Assassin 4 stars. He is a Ranger, but I guess they've just gone with Assassins here, and you need a 5 star from his faction. The true is same for all the other heroes, so Betty is going to need Mages. You'll need priests for Melissa. And then finally, Natasha is going to want you to have assassins. So you'll need Akasha for this one. If you go ahead and grab these four heroes, you'll get yourself a copy of the hero, four star armor, and most importantly, five ordinary dice for each hero. So that's 20 dice in total. If you look at the Mockman and the Yom Tum, these do not give dice or armor and will actually end up spending 2,000 of your gems. This is not worth it. So do not go grabbing this. Save your gems for better events. On a topic of saving gems, though, one thing you'll notice is you can spend gems to get Imp's Adventure dice to help you make progress here. I would generally refrain from doing that. You don't need to make a lot of progress in Imp's Adventure to be able to buy the orange treasure chest. So personally, if I was a free-to-play player, I would absolutely hoard my gems. I wouldn't spend them on an event like this, and I would just see how far I can get with the dice I'm given this week, and then use that to go ahead and buy the orange chest in the animal kingdom and use what's ever left to get some heroic summon scrolls and all in all that is this week's event no big need to spend 40 dollars is probably the most you'll want to some people will use the imps adventure package at 50 dollars to get themselves that other people may just decide not to do that and instead just top up their privilege cards maybe get the treasure crystal card or if you need it the monthly carnival card is probably something worth buying as well as that also falls into the 40 dollar price point and you can just stack those things together to find the ideal selection of rewards for you next week it returns the card clash of illusion so this is super duper exciting to see this come back and hopefully the glorious treasury makes a return as well and it should be a great way that people can get some really big rewards maybe dh games change how card clash of illusion works we'll have to see it was the first ever time we had it last month so to see what they bring next time is going to be quite exciting so folks hit that subscribe button if you want to see what changes dh games make to the card clash of illusion and go check out some of my older videos about card clash if you're curious about what you need to know for moving forwards generally though it's good to save contract story gems and gems for this event as card clash will ideally want you to spend some of those so a relatively simple week this week very standard imps adventure it uses the new reward system which i definitely like and giving free to play players access to treasure train items is always good so let me know in the comment section what you guys are going to chase this week are you going to go for spending are you going to be free to play this week what are your plans let me know below either way subscribe for more content like this join us every friday for event reviews i'll see you next time and of course have an amazing week and happy idling.